So, I have a confession to make. I'm a people person and a bit of a trickster. I know, I know. Those who are close to me are probably like, what? But it's true. Um, and we're all working from home now. All of us. Forever. While conferencing with folks that I work with, I'll admit, my room is not in perfect shape. Uh, I'm not actually in an office. I'm in the middle of moving, and I have three kids, and it's a complete mess. So, I've been using the team's backgrounds to, uh, to cover that up. But, the creative side of me is tired of using uh, a super clean office space, or, or a locker room, or, or, or whatever. The same background as everybody else. I, I want to personalize it, I want to tweak it, I, I want to make it my own. And in the interest of unbridled creativity and associated with telecommuting, let me show you how to mix up your own background image uh, of your choosing. Um, I've always been a huge sci-fi fan, and I like time travel and, and, and things like that, so for mine, I'm going to record a video of myself behind myself doing the work that I wish I could be doing Right, well, no, that I would actually rather not be doing, but, you know, <laughs> cleaning up. <laughs> um, first off, you need a camera. Um, so here I have a Logitech Brio 4K uh, webcam. I use, uh, I use this little guy for um, all kinds of video production stuff while I'm here at my desk. Um, next, you need to position it where you're going to have it for your web conferences and stuff so that way the the background doesn't shutter okay next you need to remove your chair uh, and use a recording application to record what you want as your background the Logitech software you download for free works just fine for this uh, once you have this saved the next step is going to cost you a couple bucks but it's to buy a license and download XSplit. It's a soft. Uh, it has a software called VCam, which is a virtual camera, and it lets you overlay you on top of any video or application. I use it for gaming uh, occasionally, and um, and here for work, I can I can use it to mimic a different background. So first, here I'm going to record a video of me uh, doing the laundry. For that, I'm going to open up my Logitech software that came with the camera. And I will set this up the way I want it. Stock settings are fine. We're not getting fancy. So I can slap that record button. And there it goes. I can go through and set up this video. And come back and edit it. Once you've got your video recorded, go ahead and open up your favorite video editing application. In this case, I've got uh, Adobe Premiere. Now, if you record the video good enough, you probably don't need to do this at all. But uh, I always like to tweak stuff a little bit. To get it the way I want it. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. Once that's created, I can navigate to where I have my video recorded, right here, and paste it in. Throwing it into the timeline. Now I don't want this part here to be a part of the video, so I'm going ahead and going to go ahead and cut that out. and get it right to where I want it to be. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna give this a little trim, select, cut. So now you've got this nice video of me doing laundry and that'll play in the background as I'm on conference calls. Okay, so I don't need this either. Right to where I want it to be. Slice, trim. Once you've got that the way you want it, go ahead and export that bad boy to wherever you export your media files. I'm going to go ahead and export that file. This is where I need a faster computer.
All right, now that my computer is calming down from all of that work, I have that file on my desktop exported right here. Just going to open it up and make sure it plays. Yep, there it is in all its glory. So now I'm going to go to YouTube. So now I'm going to go to YouTube, and if you don't have a YouTube account, you can create it for free. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and create and upload a video. I'm going to select my file. There it is. And for all you use at home, if you don't want to go through all this work and you want to use my video file, I'll be including a link in the video description below for a video file of me doing laundry uh, that you can totally roll into this and put on a loop. Now we just wait for this to finish too. All right, now that that's done, I can get a shareable link to it. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste it into the browser and test it out. There it is, another video of me doing laundry. So that's fantastic. I'm really excited for all of you guys to have this. It'll be great. Okay, so now that we verified that that's working, I'm going to open up XSplit vCam and set that up. So I have it right here. After I've installed it and everything, of course, I'm assuming, you know, if I give you the software, you can run and install it. If anybody has any questions on that, feel free to post it in the video below and, and I can help you out with that. But within the software, I can I can use one of their existing backgrounds and you see you see what it looks like when it's applied. Uh, Enterprise D, anybody, anybody. Um, but you can also add a background web page, media file, or video. So here I'm going to add a YouTube video. I'm going to paste in my link to me doing laundry. And there it is. So now this video will loop. Uh, it'll, it'll keep playing. Now this is exactly what other people will see. So from here, I can launch my um, whatever software I'm using for web conferencing. So now here we are. Uh, in Zoom, when I select under Start Video, I can select which camera I want to use. And now here I want the XSplit V camera. Now I can select, select the right camera. And here we go. When I am in a meeting, And once I pick the right camera, and once I pick the right camera, here we go. Now when I'm in a meeting, it will display this in the background. Um, if you feel like you need a different video, you can select that from the XSplit vCam. You can link to any video on YouTube you want, uh, and just rock that. Okay, so here, um, I'm on a call in Teams right now, and this little ellipses under More Actions, you can click that and you can tell it to show your device settings and here you can choose what camera you want to run so by default it's got your regular webcam in my case Logitech Brio I've switched over to the X split V cam and now uh, John here is able to see me doing laundry in the background while I'm on a conference call with him <laughs> so anyway that's it everybody it's 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 that easy. Uh, there's one piece of software to purchase, but other than that, everything else uh, is ready to rock there. And um, for the sake of having a different background and being a little creative with it, it's a nice way to get some energy out. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to post it in the comment below. Otherwise, have a productive day.